Bristol, a lot of young players there, but a very experienced manager in Tanya Oxtaby. How do we think they might get on? Redeemer, we'll kick off with you. I think with Bristol, it's um, obviously they narrowly missed out on relegation um, this season. And, you know, I, they, I think with Bristol, is they, they find their form, but a lot later on. But initially last season, they went nine games without a win. And like I said, the WSL is, that's not the place to, to go nine games without a win. You can't, you can't catch up when you're that far behind. If you don't get good momentum from the get-go, it catches up with you really quickly. Michelle, what, what are your thoughts on, on Bristol this season? Have they got enough quality in the squad? It's, it's a tough one. I just think there's, there's so many, there's about three, four, maybe five teams, maybe four, that are just going to be flirting with that relegation line the whole way through. And, and like we said, they can get, if any one of those teams gets points on the board early on, we've seen that you don't need that many points to stay up. So yeah, and, and actually they've, they've had Laura Dykes leave, um, Poppy Patterson has gone as well. So they had a few players depart this, this summer. For me, it's interesting the signings they've made, the likes of Chloe Legazzo, another Matilda, in our league, um, you know, she she comes with experience of playing all across the country. She's played in so many different countries, and you know, I think she's quite a leader as well. Um, you know, what new signings for you, Fidumo, do you think could be really beneficial to them? I mean, I think it's quite impressive that they managed to get you know get Gemma from um, Liverpool, and obviously, you know, with Liverpool being relegated, that's quite good for her to be, still be able to stay up. And so I feel like that's where they've got some of their signings from on the basis of the fact that Liverpool have been relegated. But again, I, I do think they, they they are still missing defensively. They, they that, That's going to be like their biggest cost. The point difference between the top of the table and the bottom of the table is like 26 points. It's, it's huge. So you need to be able to just literally just get maybe one point a game or try your absolute best to at least defend and not get that many goals scored against because that's what ultimately costs some of the teams um, their place in the league. 